hill quality. Uh, when you're getting on the board, you never step across the board. You always want to make sure that uh, you uh, straddle the board and come across this way. When you're getting off, you stand straight up and then you just back up like this. You never want to bring your leg or your feet across the board. It's a customary thing that uh, really is about making sure that we have a good board still in uh, 30 years, 40 years and our stones, everything is well cared for. That's what that's about. So, uh, anyway, I've been soaking this board. It's got water just in it to clean it. And we're gonna, you know, take it around and, uh, and clean the edges of it. And I'm gonna just finish her off, okay? So as we get started uh, making pa'i'ai. Remember, pa'i'ai is a kalo that has been cooked and pounded and the less water the better which means you can carry it on your canoes and when you get hungry you can eat it as it is pounded you cannot eat taro raw it is impossible you'll get very sick so we would never have taken uh, raw taro on board so we have um, the clean board now I'm gonna take a couple of pieces of kalo I'm going to take three of these, okay, and I'm going to pound these. So these guys are warm, and yeah, I think we'll, we'll stick with three, okay, we'll keep, it, keep it to a small amount, okay. So, one of the keys is, always wash your hands, right, I mentioned that earlier. You don't want to get water in the collar that you don't need to or mean to get there. So. Make sure your hands are clean at all times. We're going to set these guys here. We're going to pound them one at a time. This is our stone, pohaku. Yeah, so pohaku is, uh, this was a gift to me from uh, Brother Kaniawa, Uncle Kaniawa. He's the one that taught us. Uncle wash hands, right? So, uh, this is what I'm going to use. This stone is a, is a very special thing to me. So, I'm, really, we take care of these things. Uh, these are passed on between families. Uh, and they're really a treasure, so take good care of them as well as your board. This board is made out of wood, which is really hard to find in a trunk or a piece of wood this size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by just lightly tapping this collar. I'm just breaking it down literally by the weight of this stone. See, I'm not really, you know, we call it poi pounding, it's really not necessarily uh, a whole lot of actual pounding going on. So when you think of pounding, you think of like really taking it to this this uh, tarot, but no need. Yeah, let the stone, let gravity do the work. I'll add another piece right here. Okay, so we got this uh, started, you know, mildly started. You don't want to add a bunch of water to this, otherwise it'll get very sticky. We don't want it to get sticky. It will get sticky and start climbing up the, the stone as we work. And the less kalo we have sticking to the stone, the better the sign that we're actually doing it the way it was meant to be done. Not too much water. That is the key to pa'i'ai. So of course, you notice I've uh, just kind of gently mashed it, yeah? And now I'm starting to get a little bit more involved, okay? And uh, maybe pounding, supposedly, a little bit more. That might be where the word comes from. But we can do it just like this. Pounding. Just breaking that stuff down. This is food. This is halwa. So I break it down like this at first, okay? Very, very good because it's not sticking to the stone, which means, again, there's not too much water in here, okay? So we're just breaking it down. That's our goal, okay? I'm going to take this, scoop it in, scoop it in some more, just like that, okay? Bring it in, bring it in again, use this rubber spatula. You want a little water on that, otherwise things will stick. Take wet the stone. You don't want to add the water to your hollow, but you want to just make sure 
that your stone has a little layer of liquid, okay? So now, I'm going to start breaking it down in little sections, okay? So you can see I'm not just hitting, but I'm actually sliding, yeah? See that? A little bit of sliding there going on. And I'm moving through sections of this hollow. And as I go through one, I move toward the next section. And I want to work my way all the way through this lump, okay? Okay, just like that. Okay, go a little more. Change hands there. And working my way through the whole thing, okay? Just like this, okay? So it's going, going, going. Okay, that's pretty good right there so far for this round. I'm gonna bring it back in, okay? As you count it, it always spreads out and moves out. So you're gonna have to keep bringing it in. Okay, let me get as much of that off the board as you can. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna add again. The stone, putty, 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 putty. That's what that means. So my hand has a little bit of water on it still now. Watch this. I'm gonna just rock it. I'm gonna just rock my way through this lump. Okay. Very little pounding actually at this point right now. Just simply rocking. It's automatically breaking down this root. Okay, just breaking it down, breaking it down. Notice, not as many lumps in here right now. Okay, so that's what I'm going with this. And we're making putty eye, yeah? So putty eye is not the same as poi. Poi, if you've ever visited Hawaii, you have probably, no doubt, heard of poi. You may have even had it. It's a very pasty, yeah? Uh, sometimes it's kind of watery. We don't really like it watery because it tells us you're giving us more water than actual taro. And we came here for kalo. <laughs> so, working my way through, again, Adding as little water as possible. Man, this stone that I'm cutting out of me is so good. You can use other stones and you gotta use them to know what really works for you. Yeah? But if you use many, you'll know that this stone is a really, really good stone. So I'm working, working, switching hands. Okay? So I'm taking this and I'm gonna go. I'm going to scoop it in, again, bringing it in, alright, so notice, notice how that is breaking down as we go, okay, so look at that, okay, I'm going to need a little bit more, a little more water, I don't want to add too much, okay, bring it here, I bring it here, I bring it in again, alright, so that's where we're at for now. Add a little more water. I'm gonna put you at stone, okay? At Pohaku, we're not adding water to the putty eye. We want to get the surface of this stone nice and wet, okay, with the water. Then I'm gonna rock again. I'm rocking through this, through this lump, I'm working my way through as I go. Try not to do the same spot more than once around. So I gotta divide this thing up just right. Just remember where I'm at, yeah? You can work this stone with both hands. Uh, depending on the angle you're trying to get at this putty eye, this collar that we're trying to break down. We wanna break it down to where it's good and fine. Right now, it's what we call Moku Moku. Moku Moku is uh, an island. <laughs> so in other words, literally, we're looking at these little lumps as little lumps 
in the island, in the, in the ocean, yeah? Like little islands floating around. By the time we actually give this pa'iai to our kupuna, to the elder, we never want to give them lumpy pa'iai, okay? Never. We want to make sure all of those little mokus gone, okay? So, bringing it in again, and it's too lumpy. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another round. Add a little water, let's get it ready. All right, you can take it a section at a time. A little bit here, a little bit there. Again, gotta have just the right amount of water on your stone. If you have too much water, the collar will stick to the stone, and it will also, if you get too much water inside the collar, it's actually becoming poi. And we want to control this process. It is not considered poi until you make the pa'iai and begin the process of making poi. So for now, breaking it down, still some lumps in there, I'm trying to get them all out, okay? Look at that. From that very first time we looked and just started lightly pounding the whole piece of taro. Look at where we're at now. Okay, we're getting to a much better, way better space. Okay, we're still not there. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop it all up again and I'm gonna move it into the middle. All right, Kamalini. Don't forget this don't get lazy. Don't rush to eat your food, and especially do not rush to get food to your kupuna. Make sure that you bring them only the best. And this right here, I'm sorry, it's not the best, okay? Spanking this pohaku again. This is the pa'i. The pa'i is here. The pa'i is not always, we're not spanking our food. We just getting water on top here. And it looks like we're spanking, but we're not. Okay, I'm going again. I'm gonna work through this. I wanna get this to where it's good and fine and broken down. Okay, I wanna break it down using as little water as necessary. Okay, so here we are. Just working. Working. This is a good time to like oli out oli. No, hey, why, why, you drop on no, na, kuku, na, eh. Hey, why, hey, ha, na, yo, no, na, oh, ha, eh. Ola, kika, no, kika, why, eh. Hu, ali, ali, kawai, ole, ola, ka, ha, ola, ka, wai, ola, ka, yi. Eh, ola, no, in la, pa, li, li, eh. Eh oh my god, why Okay? One time to the to the chat, to the Oli. We'll bring it in again. Okay? Now, because I know Kamali, you guys are in YouTube land. And uh, we don't seem to do anything for very long when we're on this internet thing. So, I'm going to stop here. This will make a really good batch of poi. Uh, however, if I wasn't in YouTube land, I would probably do this maybe five or six, seven more times. But, since you guys have short attention span, we'll stop right here, okay? So this we're going to make into poi, okay? Let me uh, show you. Okay, so it's okay to handle when you have water in your eyes, it won't stick. So, this little putty eye is going to become poi. Unreal. Unreal. Okay, we'll take the stone off the board, off our papa, yeah, papa and wakea, earth in the sky. Had a child that was born still, and they buried Haloi in the ground in sadness. And the next morning when they woke up, the first tarot plant was coming out of the ground. Life from death. Life from loss and sadness. And we're reminded every time we eat, 
That's how life is. Okay. So, como que Ale, I'm going to time out just for a minute, and I will be back to show you how to mix hoy. Okay. Be right back. Give me a second. All right. Woo!